Hi and welcome to this new video from Smart Vision Europe. Today we're looking at multivariate analysis with Camo Analytics on Scrambler. Now if you're not familiar with who Camo Analytics are, they're the leader in industrial analytics and they were founded in 1984 by Norwegian scientists. And currently they're providers of innovative analytical software and services that bring together data, analytics and people to optimize processes and efficiency and to improve product quality and transform operations. Now, Smart Vision Europe has recently signed a partnership agreement with Camo Analytics because over the recent years, Smart Vision has successfully worked with uh, customers in the manufacturing and FMCG industries delivering various analytical solutions. So we're quite excited to share some of the capabilities of these products with you. Now, the product we're going to look at today is Unscrambler. And Unscrambler is the market-leading industrial analytics tool for companies that wish to develop their products faster and more efficiently to improve their product quality and to optimize their processes. It is part of a wider suite that includes Unscrambler HSI for the analysis of hyperspectral images, a product known as Design Expert, which is a very sophisticated design of experiments product, and also Process Pulse, which offers real-time monitoring, control and optimization of process data. Unscrambler itself offers a host of different powerful multivariate procedures with lots of unique capabilities for, among other things, uh, things like spectroscopy and chemometrics. And the sorts of procedures you would expect to see uh, and use in Unscrambler are things like exploratory data analysis, partial least squares regression, which we're going to have a look at in a moment, uh, principal components analysis. Uh, again, we're going to have a look at that. Some design of experiments capabilities are also included. And things like the ability to uh, classify data using techniques such as Simca or soft independent modeling of class analogies. Now in our example, we're going to be looking at how we can use PCA and PLS, of which there are some very powerful capabilities within Unscrambler, to do some quality analysis against a food product. And the food product here happens to be raspberry jam. So there are three primary things that we're going to try and address, which are what are the key sensory elements of the product and how are they related? How are data from the sensory panel, which assess the product, related to the instrument data, the laboratory instrument measures, the sort of objective measures? And can consumer preference actually be predicted from uh, the sensory data? I should point out that the example I'm using here is based on the tutorial data that comes with Unscrambler. Unscrambler's actually got some very good tutorials, so it makes it a lot easier to get to grips with it and understand uh, how, how to interpret the charts. So that makes sense for us to use that, particularly if you want to download a copy and, and have a go at doing this analysis yourself. So having a look at the data we've got uh, available to us, we have some variables uh, that refer to the agronomic production. In other words, it relates to when the harvest for the different uh, raspberries was taken. So there are three different harvest times. And there are also four separate cultivars, four separate uh, plant types, if you like, that were used. So that's important to understand the context of it in this. 12 samples of jam, four separate cultivars, three different harvest times. And then we have some chemical and instrument variables. So we've got three chemical and three instrumental variables. Uh, and these variables were measured on the sample. So we're getting things like you'll see variables like L referring to lightness and then A for the green red axis and B for the blue yellow axis. And then we've got absorbance and solubility and acidity. And then we've got very importantly, the sensory attribute and consumer liking variables. So a trained sensory panel of oh, sensory uh, panel assessors uh, evaluated 12 different attributes of the raspberries used to make the jam using a scale running from one to nine points in intensity. And the data that we see is actually the average scores. We've got 114 representative consumers after that that were invited to taste the 12 different samples in the application, and they each provided an individual preference score on a scale of one to nine, and the data will show their average scores. So that's the context of in this. We're going to have some data that relates to uh, the type of product, uh, the type of what we you know when it was harvested and what cultivar it came from. We've got data related to some objective measurements of the product, which are basically laboratory and instrument based. And then we've got data related to sensory attributes and overall consumer liking. And we're going to use PCA and PLS within Unscrambler, both to explore this data and also to highlight 
the capabilities of an unscrambler and why it works particularly well uh, within this particular context.